So Asus just sent me their newest Zen Wi-Fi XT9 tri-band Wi-Fi mesh system. When they reached out and were like, hey, can we send you this router and also sponsor a video? And then they sent me the product details on this. I was like, yes and yeah. This is actually a very interesting Wi-Fi 6 system. It's one of the first Wi-Fi 6 mesh router systems to take advantage of the 5.9 gigahertz spectrum. It basically brings in a third 160 megahertz channel that shouldn't have as much radio interference with it. And the beauty of all of this is, is this is a Wi-Fi 6 system. So it's not competing at the top of the market with all the new Wi-Fi 6E systems. And most devices nowadays do support Wi-Fi 6 where many do not support Wi-Fi 6E still. So if you get something like this router based on what Asus is promising here, it should perform better than previous Wi-Fi six mesh systems and you don't have to wait to get a bunch of new devices in order to take advantage of a more reliable and faster system. So that's what makes this router so interesting. I've been dying to open it. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the Asus Zen Wi-Fi X-T9. Oh, look at that box mechanism right there. Goes in on this curved part here. All right, so this is the Wi-Fi router. It's not the largest Wi-Fi router I've ever seen, but not the smallest either. Tells you that it's the main unit, so we'll get close up on there for you. On the back of the unit, Asus gives you three gigabit LAN ports plus a 2.5 gigabit per second WAN port, so you can take full advantage of the top speeds offered by some internet providers nowadays. And with the two pack, you get a coverage of 5,700 square feet, though depending on your router placement, what materials your home is built out of, etc., that can always vary somewhat. The router comes with a nice power switch in case you need to power cycle your network. The satellite also also has the exact same ports as the one that they've marked for the main router. If you wanted to hardwire this in, that shouldn't be a problem with this system. So let's get this router set up. First thing we'll do is download and open the ASUS router app. And let's make sure we select the correct router and then scan the QR code at the bottom of the main router. Once we're connected to the main router, we'll then create our name and password for the Wi-Fi network. And after that, you just simply have to wait a minute or two for ASUS to create the Wi-Fi network and optimize it. Once it finishes doing that, you'll land on a page that shows you whether or not the connection between your main router and satellite is good. Asus also links off to an LED guide, which walks you through what all of the LED colors and patterns mean that you could potentially encounter while using this router, which is a pretty nice addition. One really cool thing I really like about the design of this system is the light on the satellite router. It'll change to a different color, so yellow, for example, when it detects that there is a weak connection with your main router. And that direct feedback with the status light makes it a bit easier when you're positioning your satellite to make sure it's getting a good signal so you don't constantly have to go back into the phone app, run a connection test, etc. Now, after initially setting up the system, the only thing I had left to do was do a firmware update and then, of course, a speed test. And the speed test is what really surprised me. When initially setting up this system, I didn't have time to disconnect my main router system I had been using because my husband was still on his work video calls all day. So when I was setting up this system, I initially had to set it up with the other system still running, which means that there was more wireless interference in my apartment than normal for the Asus X-T9 to deal with. Even with that extra interference, the speeds I saw from this system are exactly what I was promised from my ISP. Even with another Wi-Fi system going that had a work call streaming from it, I tested the mesh connection out in different parts of my home. And again, the speeds I have been seeing are so far pretty much the same as I get with my Wi-Fi 6E system. And so far, my initial impression of the system's performance is quite favorable. But since this video is sponsored and it's not our long-term review of the system, I'll wait to give a full recommendation until I've had way more time to test this router system out. As far as the app goes, Asus, unlike some of their competition, actually gives you a pretty good parental control suite and doesn't make you pay a subscription to access them, which is also great to see. You can not only set schedules for your kids' devices to cut off Wi-Fi access at a particular time, the X-T9 also comes with safe browsing filters, which can be assigned to a specific device or a group of devices via the parental controls feature. But you can also block specific undesirable content using the content block feature in parental controls as well. And you can even reward your kids with more Wi-Fi time 
right from the app. The router also comes with something called AI protection to help protect your network against malicious websites. And it overall gives you a security score for your network. And this feature is built into the router at no extra cost. And there's no subscription down the road for it as well. So those are some of the highlight features that I found with the ASUS app and system. But of course, it's not everything. ASUS has packed a ton of other features into this router systems app. All right, that's been our first look at the Zen Wi-Fi XT9 tri-band Wi-Fi 6 mesh system that has support for the new 5.9 gigahertz band within the Wi-Fi 6 spec. I've left a link in the description below if you'd like to learn more about this router and or purchase it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this on Wi-Fi router systems. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.